In this video, I'll show you how to color grade your short form content for all these different types of moods and shots. First mood, I wanted to create a really dramatic type of style like you can see right now in my face. You can see like the blues covering my right side with my light on my left, just kind of showing and really brightening up my face and in the middle, it's kind of dark. I like to tweak that just a little bit, but this is kind of the first dramatic looking effect that we want. And when I play throughout this video, you can see it looks really good with that blue mixing with the yellowish. It just looks really good. So make sure you have two of these tabs open, which is the loom entry scopes. If you just come up to windows, grab the loom entry scopes and color. I always put it in the middle. Make sure I have both of these, the waveform and the vector scope on. Plus I always come over to the loom entry color. Make sure this is to my right. And now when I get rid of this, you can see that this very washed out. I use S log format. So when you get it right out of the camera, it looks like really washed and everything. And I have a conversion lot, which basically when you click on this, now it brings it into Rec 709. That is the one that we are going to be using. And you always want to be using Rec 709. If you guys don't have this conversion lot, I'll leave my conversion lot in the link in the description. So now we kind of get this effect. It's kind of popping, looking okay. What we want to do is brighten all these colors. You can see that over here, my color skin tone is about perfect so far. And this blue is really to the right. We want to stretch that out, bring all these colors upwards. So what we can do is come over to the temperature. We can kind of make it to the right. I want this blue to pop a little less and make this yellow kind of converse with it. So I always just grab this temperature. If you bring it to the left, you can kind of get more of a dramatic effect, but we're not looking for that. We want kind of like a happier mood. So I'm just gonna bring this to the right. I think right around there is good. You can mess with the tint too. So if I wanted to like kind of get a, this like a little different, but I'm not gonna touch that. Now let's kind of grab the saturation, bring it to the right just slightly, because I kind of want my skin tone not to be essentially super white, but I don't want also to be yellow like this and looking like I just came out of the sun booth. So let's just decrease it a little bit. I'm gonna go about right here. That's completely fine. I'll show you how to get perfect skin tone in a little bit, but first we wanna do just these basic color corrections. And now all I like to do is really just mess around with this. You can see when I up this, it kind of relieves a lot of the grain. So I don't really want to show that. So I'm going to bring this down, make contrast. Contrast is really where this is going to shine, shine and give it that cinematic look we want. I'm just going to barely tweak it. All you want to do when you do color grain is just kind of grab it, eyeball it, see what these are playing with and just go from there. That's exactly how I always color grade. So for like right now, when I up this, it gives me a lot of this yellow that I'm looking for. So what I wanna do is kind of bring that and it highlights the blue, which I'm also looking for. So that's just a plus plus. I don't wanna go too much or then it's gonna look weird and I'm gonna look like I'm glowing, but I don't wanna go too little where there's nothing happening. So I'm actually gonna go like right here. It actually brings out my bracelet a lot too. Now if we up the shadows, just bring the shadows up slightly so my, my shirt pops a little more with me. And I also wanna bring these whites just slightly up too. So now we're getting this kind of effect that looks really nice. That, kind of cinematic look. Now we can just grab the blacks. It looks like in this case, I don't really want to touch the blacks at like all, maybe bring it down to like 0.7. That's about it. I don't really want to touch the blacks on this. Then what I like to do is come into the, then I like to do is come into the HSL secondary and make sure you hit this key drop. And now basically when you click on this picker and I'll click on the picker, and just grab wherever the skin tone you want. So for instance, I'm gonna click right here. And now when I turn on this color grayscale, it'll grab all the skin tones I want. So now you just kind of like mess around with these, open it up, move it to like the left and right. And you can see it's, kind of, it's grabbing my skin tone. I might want to uncheck this, remove that, and then click again and probably put it in the middle. And now when I go to color scale, it should kind of give me a better real. It's not looking like it. That's totally fine. You just keep kind of messing around with it. Once you've grabbed your skin that you want. So for instance, you can see I have about majority of my skin. It could be a little better, but I'm not really too worried about it here. That's a lot better. And this line right here on this low elementary scope, this essentially is 
where you want your skin tone to be. That is perfect skin tone is right in the middle of red and yellow. You wanna make this kind of like blur thing right here, you can see, as close and tight as possible to this line. So all I do is I come down here to the correction. I also use the refine too if it's like noisy, but most of the time I don't touch it. You can go down the correction, just mess with all the temperature. You can see when I bring it to the right, it kind of pans it out and I don't want it to do that. Just kind of keep doing it so then it's closer and closer and you will get a really pretty good result. Make sure that when you're coming over here too, this is not, the colors are not above this white line, otherwise then you'll lose your color and contrast and it won't look good. So you can see as like I bring it to the right, the saturation goes down. I bring it, I bring it to the left, the saturation goes down. I bring it to the right, saturation goes up and it goes further. So what I wanna do is I just kinda wanna bring it right in the middle just to get as tight as possible, but I also don't want to be looking like I'm black and white. So about right there. Now, if you unclick this color gray scale, now you have about that exact same look that we're looking for. That looks really good. And that is the first mood that we were going to be creating. And if you want to just gotten your color grade, just come over here, right click and hit save preset. You're going to consistently be having the exact same color grade in every single one of your videos. But if you don't want to constantly keep creating new ones and just want to have a really nice, simplistic, cinematic look of LUTs, just like mine and many other creators, I've created this LUT pack, which you can come over to here on my right. You can see that there is a LUT pack. What this essentially does is instead of me constantly doing this and adjusting them, I have my own presets just like this. You can see I have vignettes and everything. Most of the time I'll just come over here to my new signature I just created the other day that looks like three times better than all the other ones. I just drag it, drop it. Now I have the exact same kind of look. Same if I come down here and I use like my other YouTube one, I have this one that gives me a brighter kind of look that I like. Same with just all these other ones. There's a cinematic look. If I had a conversion, it would look a lot better, but my conversion is not on here right now. That's kind of the, the gist of it. Plus you can just grab like a vignette. You can see it gives you a nice vignette. If you come over to this like first one, you can grab this. And if I was you, I'd like stack them so it's a lot harder and it looks a lot better. You can go get these LUTs in the link in the description. All these moods that we're gonna be creating today are in these LUTs that I've personally made to get perfect color grade. Now let's go into the second mood that just kind of really makes me pop and stand out. Gives really the quality of color grading I absolutely love. And all I usually do for this, again, is come over to my LUTs. I just drag it, drop it. Look how amazing that looks. I'll usually come over to here too and maybe stack on another one by coming to my project file and then you hit an adjustment layer stack the adjustment layer on top of this. And now when I come over to my effects and grab one of these LUTs, it looks like this. The cinematic kind of gives you that cinematic look that looks actually really sweet. I would also pair that with like a vignette. So now you kind of get that like zoned in type of style LUT that looks pretty cool. Like this one, this combo is absolutely amazing. You'll blow away about any of your friends when you see that. But Let's just re kind of recreate this kind of look that looks really cool. And then the next look will be a type of dreamy outside warm look that looks absolutely fantastic for outside footage. But for this video, we're just gonna create this one again really quick like I did in the last one. Make sure you have both of these open, come over. I always start with my basic color grades, input that conversion LUT, and then just kind of mess with the settings and bring to the right, make my skin tone a lot nicer. Same with bringing that right yellow LED light pop more. I also will probably just up the saturation just slightly. All you want to do is really just kind of grab these and up them and down them sli slightly, not too much, not too little and you get just a really cool effect. I'm gonna bring this highlight to the right just so my skin pops a lot more. I kinda want to bring this down so then the shadows help in the background. It forces me to separate from the, back, from the backdrop. Now these whites are gonna help out too so I get this nice kind of ring around my face. And these blacks, once again, I wouldn't really touch these blacks just because the blacks are very, very touchy. 
maybe down a little bit just to help this black under my hands. And we're getting a really good effect so far. Again, do the exact same thing with your thing I showed you earlier by getting the perfect skin tone. You can also add a vignette that looks actually pretty cool just by coming down here, turning the amount, mess with like the midpoints and the roundness, and you can kind of get like this effect. That looks pretty sick. If I play this, this is some really clean looking color grade. I love that. It looks like we're actually missing quite of a bit, but that is completely fine. As long as you think it's good looking, you'll be a-okay. Now let's go on to that bloom effect that I showed you earlier. And what you essentially do is for this one, I actually didn't use a conversion lot because I was just shooting in the wrong profile. But what I like to do is make this dreamy by coming over the temperature, bringing it to the right, and kind of making the picture warmish on the outside clips, bringing this to the left of the tint, so then the color of the trees and the leaves really pop more and very bright, vibrant, that separates me with the white shirt and this green. I also like to up the saturation just to give it an even more pop, and now we're kind of giving that film look. What you can do is come over to the uh, Exposure if you want to pop this more you can but I'm just gonna pop it slightly because if I do then my white t-shirt overpowers a lot of things I can come over the contrast make this a little to the right So now it really helps the shadows and the leaves pop a lot more same with these highlights If I bring it to the right you can see that the leaves pop a lot and it kind of gives it a more yellow effect When I'm dragging this to the right you can see in the top left that all the colors kind of go upwards and we don't really want that too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up just slightly. And now for the shadows, I kind of want these leaves to give nice shadows from the top one to the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it down to the left and crank these this white to the right just to give it that nice dreamy look. Kind of now we have that dreamy look. But what really makes this dreamy look pop is when we come over to my lot pack. You guys don't have to do this, but what I like to do is I like to duplicate this. So when you use the bloom effect, you duplicate it, you put the bloom effect on the top layer. And now as my computer renders this, because it's kind of harsh on your computer, but it looks absolutely amazing. If I render it, you can, see, you can kind of see now I have this bloomy, dreamy effect that looks absolutely insane. It gives you that nice film cinematic look that about everyone wants and it just looks cool. You can see when I render it, look how the dreamy effect really makes everything pop, makes the sky kind of pop through the trees a little better and kind of my entire kind of body and gives it a, a nice halation for the leaves, which looks really amazing. And that's how you create that film effect. These LUTs will be in the link in the description as well as a discount code LUT to save $5 off. And if you're seeing this, that means I'm running a buy one, get one free sale for all my editing packs on my store. That means if you add two packs to your cart, one of those packs will be completely free. You can stack this sale as many times as possible. So grab them while you can because it ends on December 2nd. So if you wanna learn more about how to edit short form content, click this video right over here.